49 flavors, three pounder. I'll be just snacking on these things like crazy. All right, what up, good people? It's your man, Raj J111. Get ready to wash these cars off. See these things is filthy. But they still run smooth. Look at look how smooth that is. Smooth. And I ain't even all nothing up yet. Smooth. But just doing a quick update. I wanted to thank y'all, man. I'm, I'm up to uh two over 2,000 subscribers. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, just to update, look, y'all know I've been using this um this fuel here. This stuff is good stuff. And I've ran at least um over six gallons. Definitely over six gallons. I'm probably about eight gallons now. But I'm definitely over six. I got another three gallons over there that I didn't even open up yet. <clears throat> but this stuff is good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the motors apart that y'all see inside, you know what I mean? And um, you know, and the, the motors was ran strictly on this, just this here. So this stuff is good, gets my approval. Um, car's running good. I'm gonna tell you, I've been going to the track, man, doing some practice. And I haven't been recording because I've been concentrating more on just getting my setups together. And you know, when you're doing the YouTube thing, that thing slows you down, man. Filming them videos and stuff. So I haven't been really recording. I've been just really focusing, trying to get things locked. Like this truggy is locked, no problems. Buggy finally starting to show me some love. I dropped down the diff fluid in there. I think I had 10 in there before I went to seven. And um, that worked great. So I've been running, you know, just running these, getting them locked in. Um, I ran, I even ran some e-buggy and broke the shock shaft. I didn't even get a battery pack. Man, electric, ugh, whatever. But anyway, all right, but I'm, uh, I want to show you, talk about some engines because, um, y'all know I love my effects engines, but I'm thinking about changing the engine and the buggy. Not because the engine is not good. Um, it just I want to do something different. Plus, I'm looking for. I think I want a little bit more bottom end. Um, let me get let me get in the room. Then I'll show you what I'm talking about. You know this bump box. It comes with um two of these seven seventy five motors. This one blew out on me, man. Well, not blew out, but the bearing right here at the top must have like got loose or something. But you can order these, and the part number is um nine two eight seven zero if you look on ebay um you can find them so i had to order a new one so i gotta get my bump box for the off in the bump box this is the 10 uh 244 truggy bump box these 775 is for that all right all right people so uh oh let me show y'all this real quick all right all right y'all know i rock with my effects all day look at these bearings people and I ain't even lubed them up. Spinning, baby. Just spinning. Just spinning, baby. I ain't even lube them up. You know what I mean? All right, anyway. So, this is the K5 that I be running in my truggy. It's the K301. I'll be running in a buggy right now. Let me show you something. <clears throat> now, this pipe here is the effects pipe, the um, 2108, which is more of a bottom end mid pipe, which is it's similar to the uh, OS 2090 pipe with the medium header. They theirs go by M's, M medium or S short. All right, this is a medium header FX. See how beefy that is, man. That's what I mean by quality. See how beefy that is? It's not pulling through. It's good to go, right? Now, this is OS 2090 pipe, right? With their medium header, OS header. Let me show you how their stuff is just soft metal, man. That's what I mean with quality. All right. See how the springs? Let me back up here. 
see if I can get y'all in the light. Uh, there we go. See, I had to drill holes because the springs are just pulling through. And this is OS. You see what I mean? Both sides, too. Hopefully, y'all can see me getting the light. Yeah. See that? Same thing down here. I do the same thing down here. Because the springs are just pulling through the metal because it's so soft. It's effects. It's beefy. Quality. OS. Man, whatever. But this is a good pipe and combo. This is a great pipe and combo. But anyway. Um, Alright, so... What I'm thinking about doing is changing out this K301. Let me get this light right. This is the K301. I'm thinking about taking this one out um, and running something else in the buggy. Um, I think I'm one more bottom in. Now, apparently, this K, uh, this 301, is will have more top end than the K5, even though this is a five port, okay? Now they also got the new um, K501, not the K501R, the R is the racer edition. That one is a um, cheaper motor by FX and it doesn't come with the um, DLC coated crank. They got a new one out that's called the K501, no R. Um, I got that on pre-order, um, I'm gonna show y'all that. It's, um, okay, hold on, um, let me see if I can go here. All right, that's it right there. All right, this is the new one. You see, updated specs for 2019. That's the K501. Now, we're gonna go over here to rcamerica.com because the effects now is owned by X-Ray and Huddy, okay? It's all the same deal, all right? Um, but this thing's supposed to be nasty. You know what I mean? It has good specs, DLC coated crank. It's supposed to be nasty and basically, what it is, is they had the K3 first, then they came out with the K301, okay? Now, let me show y'all this. So, anyway, all right, um, here we go. So, y'all can see, this right here, I haven't even ran this one yet. I need to run it. This is the K3. This has been the one they came out with first, the K3, and they came out with the K5. Then they did an updated version of the K301, and then the K302, okay? Now they coming out with a K, they came out with a K501, which I got that on pre-order. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, only thing I don't like with these effects motors is um, they hard to get and parts. You can get parts, but they it's not like No Rossi where you go to norossi.com, get your parts, you're good to go. You know what I mean? So they make them kind of a, a rarity, but they are quality, I love them. But anyway, so now I'm thinking about changing this one out. Nothing is wrong with this motor, nothing. But I'm gonna show you some specs here, which I, I, I didn't notice either. Let me go here, okay. Now this is the page, um, this is when the K3 came out. And if you look here, let me see if I can find it. Um, okay, right, right about here. See it? Effects resist all new. Let me see if I can zoom in, make sure I got you in there, okay. Designed to provide more linear power delivery, which with a higher top end RPM compared to the K5 engine. Even though the K3, um, the K5 is a five port, um, the K3 is supposed to have um, more top end. Um, which I could believe that. I mean, I could believe that. I ran both of these. I could believe that. You know what I mean? I could believe that. This definitely has more bottom end. Okay. Um, this engine, the K5, they really focused on the bottom and the mid, all right? So, in the buggy, I think I want to get a little bit more bottom in. So, that's why I'm thinking about changing this one out. Now, I could put this one in, which I need to because I haven't ran this K3. But, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about going with, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about going with uh, the WRX, the Reds. This is a five port. This was nasty. I'm thinking about going with this one. Um, and maybe doing a combo of the, uh, this is the, um, oh, what pipe is this? The uh, 2104 uh, X1 with the combo. 
you know, no more springs. Um, with that, with this um, combination here, think about doing that. I could jump to the OSB 2101, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but that's another three port. Um, but it's modified. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. This is also a good mode. I could try this one. Just keep all four with um, maybe uh, the 202096. 20, this is a good all around pipe. 2096 with the um, 41021. This is a great combination right here. Um, but if I was going to do that with the Nova um, to get more bottom in, I would just rock with this 9901. 9901 with um, that 2101 or maybe the 41001 header that's um, somewhere in here. Um, I, don't know. I don't know. It's. Uh, here we go. Put this, one right here. this is a great header here too. This 4101. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm thinking about that. Now, also, let me show you this. This right here is another effects pipe. Um, let me make sure this is... No, I'm sorry. This is the Reds 2104. That's not the X1. See, at the gasket. Um, let me see. Where did I put the damn thing at? Okay, here we go. Is this the... I guess, no, I'm sorry. This is the OS 2060. This is more top end. The 2090. Over there, that's the 2090. Um, that's more bottom end. Alright. Okay, here we go. This is... Damn, I need to clean these pipes, I swear. This one here is the effects. 2100 okay this is more of a top end pipe all right more top end all right so let's say i throw this on see this is the 2108 which is more of a bottom and mid bottom and mid pipe like the 2090 os if i do this 2100 on effects one that'll give me a little bit more top end on the five port okay because the five port is supposed to be more bottom and mid. If I throw this on, it's to add a little bit more top. That probably be, might be a nice little combination with the medium header. That probably be all right. You know what I mean? I don't know. But people, let me know something in the comments below, which I think I should go with. I mean, I also got my Mito 7s. I can go with the Mito 4. Um, I'm look, just looking to get more bottom and I could do the Mito 4. I don't really want to do a 7 port, so... The Paloma's out, and even though people don't you sleep on this Paloma, you know, this is my baby. I still should run this too, but seven ports, I don't really want to do that. Forget about this one. I don't even want to do this one. No way I'm doing this R5. I didn't like this R5R at all. I'm really leaning towards this one. Or maybe back to the B2101, just to see how it go. Um, the reason why I'm looking for more bottom end is because... Um, all right, this is one jump I was doing in a rhythm section. It's like, and I, what I've been doing is been single, single, single on it, right? So when I was doing with the Truggy, I was doing single, double. And I was getting over it, no problem. Now, with the buggy, I couldn't really hit it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I couldn't really hit it the way I wanted to hit it. Um, a couple times I come out to turn, I want a little bit more. I'm there. I want some more bottom end. Again, not that this motor is not good. This 301 is nasty. I love it. I just want to try something different. And then that way I can compare. Say, you know what? I'm going back to my 301 if I don't like it. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm leaning towards this WRX again with the... Um, damn, what the hell is this? Oh, the 2104X1 uh, Torque. You see, that's Torque. On there, y'all can see it torque. Um, so I'm leaning towards that that combination right there. We'll see. I mean, I got a couple things I can play with in here. Um, you know, I already, you know, I already got some 9886s. Um, 
don't know. This is a good one too, people, man. For bottom end. This pipe is nasty. This is the jam and the JP2. If you don't know about the JPs, the, uh, the, the higher the number, the more top end. All right, so JP1 has more bottom end. JP2 give you a little bit more top end. This pipe is nice, but I'm going to tell you, this pipe is loud. But it's nice. It is nice. And I also got the... Uh, matching header for it in there now i'm gonna tell you this header is a 85 millimeter meaning it's gonna give you more bottom end the longer the header the more bottom the shorter the header the more top end you're gonna get all right this is 85 millimeter that's um with that all right um yeah i'm sorry this is it this is the header i'm sorry this one which is 85 millimeter yeah all right, but um, I got some kit. You know, of course, I got the old 86, old classic. I don't know, people. We'll see. Um, we'll see. All right, so what I'm gonna do, people, I'm gonna take this one apart, let y'all see inside of there. Um, because like I said, I've been wanting a few, I'm sure it's carbon build up, but we'll take a look, see what it do, what it do. All right, um, all right. And it look good. I mean, we do got some carbon, but you know, that's normal. Uh, button head. Let me see if I can get this light together. Yeah. Button head there. Um, you know, y'all can see that. Um, now, that's a new glow plug. I put that glow plug in, I think, yesterday. So, um, but yeah, that's the button head. A little bit of carbon, but that, you know, that cleans up. That ain't about nothing. A um, little carbon on the head there. All right. Ain't nothing, you know what I mean? That cleans right up. Um, but the sides look good. <sighs> Sleeve looking great. Not too much. Looking good there, baby. Now let's check this pinch. Uh, exhaust side. Exhaust side. Check that pinch there for ya. Okay. Boom. Look at that pinch. The pinch still rocking. And I got some gallons on this thing here. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah. All right. That's the pinch there. I got some gallons on this bad boy. But she looking good. Crank. Looking awesome as always. DLC coated. You see the silicone fill. Nowhere on the pen at all. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for y'all. Nowhere on that pen at all. Okay. DLC coating. It's the way to go. Trust me, people. I don't know if I would want to run another engine without this coating. This coating is great. No kind of wear whatsoever on this crank. Whatsoever on this crank. Okay? So, it's looking good, baby. Looking real good. Buggy clutch. You know, that's the bomb always. I got to clean all this up. Shoes still looking good. Everything looks still looking good, people. All right, so um, that's the motor broken apart after like I'm sure I'm pretty sure I got at least six gallons or maybe and maybe no because that's between two cars. Probably at least I'm gonna say three to four gallons on that with that fuel and no kind of even wear. Pinch still good. Motor still great. All right, so clean all this up. Put everything back together. Make it do what it do. All right, people. So again, I thank y'all, man, for the 2,000 plus subscribers. And uh, look, so this is what you gotta have in your man cave, people. You gotta get you your Jolly Beans. 49 flavors, three pounder. I be just snacking on these things like crazy. See, that was that thing was filled to the top. All right, people. So this your man, Rajay111. And um, I'll see you on the next video. All right, peace.